Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Friday, May 31st, 2019. My name's Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, we have a busy day out here. You have the futures lower by 28 points right now. They're trading at 27.62 per contract. You can see they are starting to catch a little bit of a bid off the lows. The lows were actually made around 6 o'clock in the morning. And now we are upticking off of those lows. So we'll see how this market plays out today. But nonetheless, we are looking at turbulence to begin the session. Now, the reason or the catalyst for the decline today, President Trump threatening tariffs on Mexico if they do not secure the border and they continue to let uh, migrants come up from Central America. So again, that is the news. That is the catalyst. And that is hurting stocks like General Motors this morning. Got GM down to 33.20. I think there's still a fair amount of support for GM at 32.50. We'll be looking at that one today. Next up, you have Ford Motor. That is also getting hit this morning. Closed at 9.74. Now trading at $9.40. Uh, FCAU, which is Fiat Chrysler. That's getting hit. That's trading at 12.74. Closed at 13.40. You got a lot of auto part makers that are down today dlph uh getting hit that is trading at 1522 closed at 1646 let's take a look at bwa borg warner that right now is trading at 35 dollars closed at 3680 let's take a look at teneco t-e-n that is trading at 1035 closed at 1072 let's take a look at axl this is trading at 1012 closed at uh, 1066. So again, we're seeing some good uh, selling pressure there. You also have rail stocks getting hit by this news. KSU this morning down pretty big. This closed at 118.67. Stock is now trading at 111.50. So you got lots of stocks potentially in play here. You also want to take a look at uh, UNP, which is Union Pacific. That is getting hit as well, trading at 164.99. This closed at 169.48. So rail stocks also under pressure this morning. There's lots of other equities under pressure on the back of this news. So we'll keep an eye on those. Now let's get to earnings. We have lots of earnings last night and a couple of them this morning as well. Let's take a look at Costco. That was the big one out here. Stock is trading at 237.30, closed at 241.54. So again, Costco under pressure this morning. Not you know a massive decline. But that's still a pretty good little fall there for Costco. Next up, we want to take a look at VMware. This is getting hammered today. VMW is the ticker symbol here. Uh, you'll see that the stock right now trading at $180.54. Closed at $191.09. I'll have levels ready for VMware today. Let's take a look at Zscaler. ZS is the ticker symbol here. Stock is trading higher today. Closed at $72.99. It's trading at 72.39, so excuse me, it's trading lower, but it's off of its worst levels. You can see in the after hours yesterday, um, <clears throat> this went down to 66, now trading at 72.35. We have Uber, their first earnings announcement after coming public. Stock is trading at 40.68. We have Nintenix, NTNX, absolutely slaughtered today, trading at 25.76. This closed at 32.67. Not a pretty picture. Let's take a look at Gap, GPS. Stock right now trading at 1771, closed at 2060. So that's some ugly moves out here. Some of these stocks I can't even find levels for, but others um, I can. Let's take a look at OKTA. This has been a winner and it remains a winner. Closed at 106, now trading at 113.04. So still very strong move there. Let's take a look at Ulta Salon, ULTA. Ulta Beauty, as it's called now, I believe. Stock right now is trading at 317.60, closed at 328.46. So again, under pressure here. Uh, let's take a look at Marvell, M-R-V-L. This is trading at 22.46, closed at 22.19. So little movement there. Let's take a look at COO. This is trading at 285. No real pre-market activity here. Closed at 286.44. Let's take a look at one more here. We'll do big lots. BIG. This is catching a nice little pop. This is trading at 28.80, closed at 26.01. I happen to think on big lots, um, you get into the low 30s. There's a lot of resistance there. This is a very oversold, beaten down equity. So we'll be keeping this one on the radar and we'll see where it goes. 
But um, we have lots of moving parts out here. I'm going to have some gap levels ready to go. Plus, we will be looking at all these auto stocks this morning. All right. Um, <clears throat> I think we covered everything there. Let's go to the gold market today. Today, we have gold futures trading up $9.30 to 1301 Like I've been saying, uh, gold will catch a bid if the market starts to get a little fear in it. And you're starting to see that nice pop today for the GLD trading at 121.69. When you take a look at um, the chart, this really doesn't have a lot of resistance till it gets to around 122.50 to 123. So there could be more upside in gold if there is more fear in the market. Uh, looking over at crude oil today, you're seeing crude oil down another $1.26. Right now, crude oil is trading at 55.33. Crude was slammed yesterday, and it is getting hit again this morning. Here's the USO trading at $11.51, closed at 11.76. Spot crude was down 4% yesterday, and again this morning down another two and a quarter percent. So this is an ugly move for oil, and we'll see where this all goes once the opening bell rings. Futures again down 29 points to start the day. NASDAQ futures down 90. So it's going to be a pretty volatile morning. Get ready. Get your chin strap on. Buckle up. And uh, let's get ready to trade these markets this morning. Have a great trading day, everybody. If you haven't done so, come on over. Take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. You can trade right alongside of us. With that being said, I want to see you a little, little bit later on the charts.